Working with Snooki was awesome. She really wanted to go out and prove a lot of people wrong. I think people doubted her and the fans definitely responded that way. There was 70,000 people. Snooki got in the ring. They were booing the heck out of her. And then she did backflip triple flip. And the crowd, like literally 70,000 people went, uh, okay, yeah, we we like you. You're cool. We'll we'll like you know. We'll we'll kind of we're into you. And so me as a tough enough trainer, it was one of these things where I you know I I saw what, what kind of strengths she had, what her background was. So we busted it out, and uh, the fans loved it. I think what people don't realize is the um, how strenuous the training is and what it does to you physically. I mean, the demands on your body. One time I got thrown through a table and everyone says, oh, so the table was split, right? And I'm like, no, it wasn't. It was split after my body went through it. <laughs> so that was pretty brutal. Um, that was um, that was probably the most, um, most ouchy moment that I've had in my career. It's funny when, um, you know, I started, I got into this yoga thing. I basically found yoga. I was rehabilitating an injury. I had a herniated disc in my back. I found yoga. It totally, you know, uh, completely uh, cured my back. Actually, I went back and finished my career. I had a couple more championships under my belt, so to speak. And um, it was a neat kind of a happy accident, actually, to see how the yoga fit into the ring stuff because you've got a million things going on. You've got the crowd around you and it can get a little crazy in there. So when you have that breathing to calm you and a great sense of body awareness, I mean, it really is a neat thing to be able to hone in on. And uh, it was neat to see how my yoga really played into um, becoming a better performer. Oh, it's time to rock and roll.